What's up, Internet? Number one Fortuna Entertainment fan, DJ Master Seal, now in session. And as always, this episode is powered by Topic. My last episode covered some dark stuff. Missing artists, evil mirages, and how to destroy them too. If you want to hear about that, check out the link in the box below. Now, let's get to the bottom of this mess. I'm talking about the very depths of dungeons. I'm hearing mirages come from an alternate reality called the Idolosphere. Each of these dungeon areas is its own special kind of creepy and has its own mess of enemies too. If you run into one, try and land the first strike before the battle begins, or they may take you by surprise. Also, keep an eye out for rare mirages, because the loot they drop is rare too. While you're at it, watch out for savage mirages. They wear black and are far more powerful than the norm. But if you risk a battle with them, you might just score some great loot. Speaking of beefy mirages, there are bosses too. Hey, he looks familiar. Huh, regardless, he's freaking me out. There are plenty of others too, like this guy. Believe it or not, mirages aren't the only things you have to worry about in dungeons. Nothing is as it seems in the Idolosphere. In fact, finding your way through each dungeon is a challenge in itself. Like this dungeon, where you'll need to manipulate these giant dresses to navigate between floors. While you're exploring, you may encounter some more reasonable mirages. Like this guy here, who asks you to fill in for an absent film crew member. There are tons of side quests too. This familiar Heho sales clerk needs help finding some materials. Take out a few of these guys to get the goods you need. Collect enough, and she'll reward you for your trouble. You want loot like that? Well, there's only one way to get it. And it's called Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. 